welcome back to the choir planning channel today we are going to be unboxing this gorgeous orange Erin Condren box this is my June haul I did order with their new academic planner launch so let's go ahead and without further ado open this up I already uh, cut the tape to make this a bit easier and I also cut this piece of tissue paper and their sticker Erin um, Condren stuff always comes gorgeously packed and protected and let's open it up. I have not seen though what is inside. I know what I ordered. Oh. Again, if you can't tell, I am a huge Star Wars fan. So right here we have our stand up pencil case. I unfortunately lost my pencil case this past semester. It had a bunch of my gorgeous uh, stationary pens, but they disappeared. So I decided to go ahead and get one of the Erin Condren stand up pencil cases. Let's open it up. I'm not really sure how this completely works. From my understanding, I think we put the pencils inside, right? And then it stands up by itself. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Like, here's my hand. This is a lot big. Oh, this could hold a lot. Okay, I can get down with this. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I'm um, here. Look at the design. It's a little baby Grogu. Oh cute 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 okay so I'm excited to put some pens in this um actually you know what let's do this now hold on let me grab oh sorry for the shaking let's see how much we can fit in here so I have oh my a ton of click art pens doesn't look like there's any special pouch like they just go straight in here and I also have some Erin Condren dual tip markers. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna see how many can fit in here. Right, here we go, putting them in. More, 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 more. Okay, that was everything for my cup. Honestly, I could probably fit another five to 10 pens in here. This is really spacious. Okay, so then, I believe I can just push this down, this top part down and pull it down and I can see everything. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, so, oh, and it stands. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I've gone from an initial like seven loving it to a 10, just like that. Beautiful, so there is that. Let me go ahead and move this box so we can look at some things. Um, with the launch, you also get a free, I believe it's over by now, but I got this free homework sticky notepad. Opening this up. I know sometimes Erin Condren struggles with um, the stickiness of their sticky notes, but this, this seems pretty sticky to me. Um, I This is a little too much color for me, I think. Um, I prefer the more simplistic ones with like a little, like if just the homework tab was colored, that would be good for me. But I know some people love this rainbow. So it's a good checklist. And it looks like you could put a, a date here, maybe like a due date for something. There is that. Um, I must, I should mention that part of the stand-up pencil case did come in the bundle that retails for $37. You save about $10 if you were to buy all these items individually. So there was the pencil case. We also had the post-it notes. It came with some dual tip pens and then also this, um, notepad. So I already have one of these sticky notes. And I love them so far, but I got, went ahead and wanted some more inside when you open up. It's like a little booklet and you can see that de the design goes throughout the entire packaging. It's gorgeous. And so we have different size sticky notes here. These are a lot bigger than you think they are. And each one comes with, I think it's 20, 20 sticky notes. So we got some lightsaber duels. If you've recently seen um, the Obi-Wan show, you might might appreciate that. Some basic Star Wars labels, some kind of flag, rounded flag tabs, some circles, and then this giant Millennial Falcon. I love this one. This one's really big. This would cover a lot in your planner, so it might actually cover some dates, but in other instances, I'm gonna find a use, uh, reason to use these. So, love that. Um, I'm gonna jump to this notepad. Um, I think, oh, the design. Yes, yes, I love when designs go 
to the edge, to everything. It is through everything. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm going to use this for um, because I have a lot of weekly planner overviews already. But I'll, I'll find some use. Maybe maybe a meal plan. That might be good. And this will be like a grocery list for the meal plan. Um, but there's tons, tons of pages in this. And also the aesthetic is just really cute. So that came with the package. And then also one of my favorite, I have a couple of these already. These are the dual tip markers. We I, Let me pull one out right here. So there's two sides to it. Again, I love the little sparkle in it. Um, one side is fine tip. You can see that it's fine tip. And then the other side is a little thicker, medium. It's labeled as medium. But um, I usually like to use colored pens as headers um, because they stand out to me. And then all the information in my notes, I will use uh, black. So I just needed more stock of this. And I needed so much more stock of these that I got a second set. And I just bought these on the side. So I am stocked up for a good while with black pens. Let me put this over here. Okay, what else in the world did I grab? I grabbed this baby Grogu planner charm and I am actually gonna put this on in a minute you will see um, but oh it's cute did I need this this is one of those purchases where did I need it no did I want it yes so I got it I decided that with school ending and starting grad school I was gonna divulge and just get something that was gonna make me happy and make me motivated to plan and pick up my materials so there is the gorgeous little mini Grogu planner charm uh, before we get to the academic planner, I did also grab a couple of the new pretty interchangeable dashboards. These are, are in the 7x9 size. You get a front and a back, and they were on sale. I believe I actually got these for $8, which was a lot cheaper than they usually are. They're usually about $13. But I loved the aesthetic of these rainbows, as you can see. I have my like rainbow decoration <laughs> over here, and I love the pastel colors. This doesn't seem too much... Um, in my face uh, and of course you get the inside I never use the inside part of this just because I'm afraid it's gonna smear onto the planner but if I'm ever feeling the rainbow vibe I have those and I also got this one this one I got more of a retro feel to it which I've been into retro a bit more um, let me let me hold on here we go there we go <laughs> so you have these gorgeous uh again colorful flowers but they're a little different they're not in bloom they're not the floral they're um their own little style and I love the little mushrooms my sister actually loves eating mushrooms and I love truffle oil so um I thought these mushrooms were a cute little addition and we have different styles mixed in with the flowers and then I like how they mixed in kind of the general generic black and white design I think that is what makes this cover so um not overwhelming, but it's not underwhelming either. It's got its own characteristics to it. So those are my two new interchangeable dashboards. Again, um, not something I needed, <laughs> but something I wanted because I saw them and they were adorable. So I have those. And then now for what we have all been waiting for. This is the new academic planner. Um, it's kind of a little hard to see, but I got the vegan leather cover this is the first time I've ever purchased a vegan leather cover, and I will say it is thick, it seems sturdy, um, and it seems like this is gonna last. So, uh, I have the Darth Vader. The print is embedded of Darth Vader, just a little bit, or um, what's the word? Embossed? Is that the right word? Here we go. He's just on the side, and funny story. So, these are my initials. Um, when I went to order, you know, there's the option to customize and personalize your planner, I was just messing around and wanted to see what this looked like. So I put my initials and my customization in, but then I ultimately pressed the button that said, no thanks, I choose not to personalize my planner. And I received a, a an email from Erin Condren's support team, and they said, can you clarify what foil you wanted for your personalization? And I said, I didn't order a personalization. Um, and I did see that on my shipping order, it said it was personalized, but I didn't pay the personalization price. Um, but they're like, that's all right. What uh, foil would you like? And so I decided to go with the rose gold. I'm glad I went with the rose gold. It's beautiful and shimmery and pink and sparkly. 
Um, but they didn't charge me the extra personalization fee. So that was just a nice bonus. And the support team was very, very friendly. That's, I rarely have to interact with them because usually they get my orders correct on the first try. But this time I was speaking with them. They were quick, they were helpful. Um, and then I ended up getting a personalization for free and I love it. Okay, it is time. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a bit. And we, oh, sorry, let me focus. We are going to go and flip through this. I have seen reviews, I have seen pictures, but now I get to open it for myself and I'm so excited. So here we go. Opening, oh, y'all. You know what I was talking about, about the pattern going through everything? This whole opening page. I like it. It's like, it's subtle. Oh, if you could focus, please. There we go. It's subtle. The dots, like there, I think there's supposed to be like the little sparkle twinkles in the galaxy, right? Um, and this page, this looks like a fancy blueprint of the Death Star. Oh yeah, look, it tells you, like here's your super focus lens, the super laser, the command center. This, this is gorgeous. I wonder if Aaron Condren designed this or if they pulled this from Star Wars at some point. Okay. So we flip through, we turn, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is kind of in the face. Um, I do, this clearly is not something, let's see if it'll focus a bit better. There we go. This is not something I could easily write on. This seems more like an aesthetic page, but thankfully I have my life planner so I can use that to write in important dates and whatnot. Um, but this is gorgeous though. I still like the color from the dark, the ombre with the background. Um, it's a little hard to see the numbers, but again, an aesthetic page. So opening up. next, we have our Heritage and Awareness Observances. Again, they're not doing stickers this year. Um, a class schedule. So I, I am a grad student, but I'm a virtual grad student. So my time and weekly schedule, I probably won't use this because I don't, they're all asynchronous classes. So there's no like meeting times. Um, I will use this though, labeling the courses I have um, and who the professor is. I In my program, there are only like two or three professors, so it'll just be the two or three of them. Um, yes, oh, the credits might be important. So I'll be in 14 credits every semester for the next two semesters. And then a couple notes if important. And then great, this will be for the spring semester, fall semester, and then one for the spring semester. We get a note page with a cute little emblem on the bottom. It's very subtle and it's um, not as gray as it's looking on the camera. It's clear. You could easily write over it and see what you're still writing. Though I personally will avoid it because I want to see the whole thing. Another notes page. And then here we go. Here are the monthly covers. Uh, August is kind of this pinkish salmon color together we can rule the galaxy okay well that's dark that makes sense with darth vader here and all the empire ships uh let me flip through real fast so there's august here's the september cover luminous beings are we oh it's yoda we love yoda then we have the force is strong with this one this is october november a force to be reckoned with Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, what is next? December. Awesome, uh, Mandalorian. December. Then we have January. February. That. <laughs> that's no moon. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> that's no moon. March. Ah, one of the best training scenes in all of film. April. May. Oh, I love R2. Y'all, R2 is my favorite. R2. Here's June. July. And finally, circling back at around to August. Oh, so August and August are both Empire based. The first August and the last August. Hmm. I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's red or this like red salmon color. Okay, gorgeous. I love those covers. Um, they are very bold. I will say that they're very, very bold, but I think the way that they designed them is great. So here's what we get in the month. As soon as you turn the month page, you get your 
monthly spread. Of course, the color scheme is still there. We got cute. This one's detailed, this little Darth Vader up here. Um, and I like that the top is simplistic, though. I do. I mean, I like designs, but this is simplistic. Um, there's no background decoration. It's very clear. It's white. Um, your typical monthly spread. And that, oh, okay, here we go. So now this actually... This one has like the, that dot theme that they have going on, spreading up again through the coil. Um, but it's subtle, 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 subtle. Love that. Um, couple lists of goals, events, um, some more notes page, and then projects and exams. So you get one, two, three, four, just four. You just get four, but that's fine. Um, I will definitely have more than four projects and exams a month. So um, maybe I could like screenshot this and then copy paste this in one of the notes pages so I have more room for it um but see you have a description you'll put your class that it's for the details of it the deadline and then another important dates and then if it's completed so I'll probably use this mostly for um exams oh and here we go then we get into our weekly spread um same images same design up top but beautiful um Let's see, so it starts on a Monday, as most of her calendars do, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they split Saturday and Sunday, obviously for space reasons, I can see why, but I'm actually going to be doing most, since I work full time, I'm going to be doing most of my work on the weekend, so I, I'm trying to think how they could have done this where we had more space for Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think... I think what I'll do is I might just have to get rid of this to-do section for Saturday and Sunday and use this whole space and just write right through the dots, dot, through the dots. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, but this is just a flip through. So here is the weekly spread. We kind of have, it looks like this is where you would put your class. This is where you would put the assignments and then you have a little checklist to do. I could, I don't really need the to-do list part. I'm just going to get rid of the to-do list part. Um, but this is going to be great. I'm more of a vertical planner. So this is one of the first horizontal daily base planners I have, but I think it's going to work. And plus I thought it was worth it to do the horizontal because the, of the Star Wars theme and the Star Wars theme comes in the horizontal. So looks like we have, it just repeats. That is your weekly spread. And what is at the end? So we have a couple weeks and then we have notes pages. So after the last week of the month, you get one, two, three, four, and then five if you count this back one. Five pages. Oh, and I didn't even notice. There's a little design again. You can hardly see it, but it's it's there. It's there. Okay, so five note pages at the end of the month. Um, this is, I love this weekly spread. I think this is going to work really, really well. Um, let's see, is there anything at the back? Oh my, oh my. So you do see that I got the August to August um, academic calendar. I'm bummed because I'm already in some summer classes now and I would like to start using this, but that's all right. Maybe I can go ahead and jump in. I can jump in with the August and July because I'll be done by next May, so I won't need those months. Um, in the back, it looks like there's just more notes, but oh, okay. Here's the back page, your little advertisement part. And then, oh, we get some cute stickers okay it's one okay this this back cover is repeated but we get some nice sticker sheets um these go with the color scheme in the academic planner but I personally am not a big yellow fan so I don't know if I like that but I do like the image with the words I guess I'm just gonna have to use them <laughs> anyway so that's fine um so we have exam, test, read, study guide, and then days with no class. That will not apply to me. I will probably use that for more of my teaching. I'll probably take those for my teaching when we don't have school that day. Um, I will use midterms. If there's midterms, I feel like there should be a column for finals, right? If you have a midterm, you're going to have a final on the class. So midterms, uh, quizzes when papers are due. I like this purple. This one's my favorite. This one and this one. What I need to study. This makes sense. This is Yoda just telling me that I need to study. Um, and then vacation. I <laughs> Online asynchronous class is not really going to have vacations. Um, so I will probably take these into my academic planner. But everything else, I will find a way to... Oh, you know what? Instead of final, the exam is probably what that is. 
Okay, so anyway, that is the new vegan leather cover, Star Wars academic cover. I think they did, oh, I'm sorry, I am shaking everything today. I think they did a fabulous job with this Star Wars theme. I know everyone was super, super excited about it. Um, I will do some plan with me's about my week in this one um, regarding my grad school stuff, but I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing. I am in love with everything as I always am with Erin Condren, but until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye choir planner nerds. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.